you know, a lot of people have heard of it, but they might not know what it is. What is bipolar illness? Bipolar illness is what's called an affective disorder. It affects uh, a person's moods and energy, and they can wildly swing between uh, what's called a manic high, in which they can be um, actually psychotic, uh, of seeing and hearing things that aren't there, or just acting inappropriately um, or aggressively, or then they can, uh, a person can fall into depression, and suicide is a huge risk for bipolar illness that's untreated. And we've seen some cases of high-profile cases where there, where people have died by suicide lately. Uh, is that something that, you know, what can you say about the idea that this is now in the consciousness of a lot of people? Well, that's the greatest risk of bipolar illness. And as a matter of fact, in my own family, it's a genetic. I have uh, an uncle who committed suicide, a great uncle who committed suicide, and recently a cousin who inspired this book for me to try to communicate with him who also committed suicide. It's a huge risk. And part of this book is how to get better. Um, and, and you talk about a nutritional approach to treatment for bipolar. I do. It's not just my own. <clears throat> it's being very well researched at the University of Cincinnati Department of Psychiatry by Dr. Robert McNamara. And uh, it's a fabulous uh, bit of research they're using at the University Hospital. They're testing everyone who comes in for their levels of omega-3 in the blood and finding that 75% of in uh, admittance to the hospital has uh, a, d a severe deficiency and they treat with uh, certain kinds of omega-3s and I go into my book a whole extensive chapter is on which kind and what dose uh, are used. And what are some of the other uh, tools for recovery from bipolar? Well there's 20 chapters and there's, there's many, uh, there's one on how to keep your self-esteem in the face of stigma there is uh, exercise, of course, uh, something called accommodations, which as many people don't know, they have a right in this society to ask for uh, special uh, accommodations or handicaps in their workplace or school, like to, to have exams given in a special room or to be able to call their doctors from work. Uh, there's many things that we, we go into in the book. And you also talk about what you call a mid-polar zone, somewhere between the highs and the lows. Right, and that is the essence of bipolar wellness. It's a kind of a, a geography I dreamed up where you take a globe and you see that the equator expands into what I call the mid-polar zone, which is the wellness zone. And that the, uh, wellness means expanding that zone so it's very large, whereas bipolar illness is when it's very small and the, the uh, polar zones of mania and depression have become very large. Well, that sounds like an optimistic view of things where the, you know, the, the, the parts where there might be harm done are smaller than the wellness. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's the whole be idea. And, and I do believe, uh, I, I want to give people hope because I have recovered and, and my psychiatrist give me a lot of support. And uh, not just recovery, but the book is a plan. A person can actually go through the book and, and God willing, recover. Is there anything about your personal story that you want to share to give people uh, an idea of the experience? Well, I, I, my life has been unusual. At the age of 19, I was uh, in honors programs and uh, studying uh, social psychology, and uh, the, within a few weeks I was uh, slammed into a hospital and uh, was there for almost a year, electroshock treatments and isolation rooms, and uh, I didn't know really what was happening. but. Uh, it took me a long time to figure it out and to deal with my diagnosis. I want to say that tonight I'll be speaking with a support group here called DBSA, the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance. It's a public talk at the, um, at, at the St. Joseph Women's Hospital on North McDill. It's at 7 o'clock, refreshments at 6.30, and I'll be explaining my book to people. And, uh, that, that support group has been really key in my recovery. They're a fabulous group. They have 400 chapters around the United States. And Tampa is a really strong chapter. Well, Michael Rose, thanks so much for speaking with us today. And if you want to show the people in the video, oh, your yeah, book. This is, uh, this is the, the book. And uh, it's available on Amazon, or you can request your bookstore to order it. And it's on Kindle. And um, I, I hope it helps a lot of people. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.